Okay, Michelle, let's take a look at how to embed that Google Sheet into your ClickFunnels page. So I just wiped out a form here so there's nothing else on the page, and we're going to create a new section. We're going to make that section full width. And let's try that again. Then we're going to put a one column row inside of that. And then the CSS HTML box. Okay, next thing we're going to do is go over into our Google Sheet. We're going to pull this out of the way. We're going to go to File, Publish to the Web. We're going to click on Embed. It says Entire Document. We only want Sheet 1. And we will just copy this whole thing. Go back into our funnel. Put that in. Now, I think this is what you had up to this point. So let's just save it and preview it. Okay, we're going to get pretty much the same result you had which was the um, form being off to the side and being too small. So let's go back in and let's fix those problems. First thing we want to do is let's make this form, let's give it a width of 100%. And let's give it a height of, let's just say 500 pixels. You, of course, can make it whatever you would like, and it's not a colon, it should be an equal sign. Okay, let's save that and take another look at it. Okay, now we got a good width and we got a good height for on your page. So now next thing we want to look at is let's say you don't want to go 100% width. So let's go back in and we will make it, let's just make it 50% width. Save. And again, we will reload that page. Now, what you're going to see is it's going to be half the width, but it's going to be over to the left-hand side. So in order to take care of that, let's go back in here. In Stephen's instructions, he actually used the center tag in his HTML. Well, that's been deprecated, so you don't want to use that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a style tag. We're going to text align that center, but the, before we do that, we have to go back out, click on the box, come down, grab the CSS ID selector, come back in, paste that in, put in a right curly bracket, in a left curly bracket, and in between there, we want to type in text align center with a semicolon at the end. That will align that box into the middle of the page now. There we go. Now, what I would do if this was my page, I would make it 100% width. So let's go back to here, put in 100%, and then what we want to do is change the width based upon the width of the either the section or the row. So we can come in to our section width. And we can adjust that by moving our padding left and right. It should also allow me to, I don't know why it's not doing it, to change the size of the box. But also you can do the same thing inside of the row. Probably be a little better to do it there. You can change the width 
right here of the row, or you can change the padding on either side of the row as well. And actually another way you could do it um, is to go into the column. Same thing here, you can change the width inside of the column. So it's three ways to do that without having to do it inside of the HTML. And the, the other way, let me just show you real quick here, because it's not working for some reason, is I can put in, let's say I wanna put in a small section, I can then take this, drag it down into the small section. Come on. Oop, that's right, I need a row first. Drag it down into that small section, and then if we save it in preview, it'll be 100% width of that small section then. So there you go. That's a whole bunch of different ways to fix that problem. If you got any more questions, just let me know.